Okay, here we are in the Famicom section. The first game we're going to take a look at is Daik no Gensan. This is by Irem. And this is a two-part series on the Famicom. There's part one and part two. This first part is definitely the most interesting one. It's much better quality as well, too. 3,480 yen is pretty good for Akihabara, I think. Um, probably usually goes for 2,000, maybe 2,500 elsewhere, if you can find it. It's pretty hard to find. Next up, we've got Armadillo, 2,480 yen. This is a bit more expensive than I'm used to seeing it outside of the city, but it's a cute action platformer. You're an armadillo, kind of an early Sonic type thing, but checking out the FDS games, there's Coconut World. Pretty interesting looking cover art, but the game is pretty rudimentary, not very good. We've got Met and Meg. This is a nice, complete version. 4,880 yen. That doesn't seem very expensive for me. This is kind of like a... I don't know how to explain it. It's a top-down adventure game. But cute art. Um, 4,000 doesn't seem like that much for a game like this. But I haven't come across this game very much in the wild. If you're a FDS collector, it might be worth picking up. I wouldn't mind having a copy of this. And Otoki, Otaki, very cool um, game for the FDS. It has great sounds, a little bit of damage on the manual, it says. Manual Itami. So there might be some scrapes or some bends in the manual. I don't know who this girl is on the side. I'll have to look into... She looks like some sort of idol or something. She has a profile on the back. Is it Ozawa Natsuki? Profile. Not really sure. Maybe she's an artist back in the day. Might be fun to take a look into who that is real quick. We've got a cute, cool one here. It's more specific. 13,700 Yokai Yashiki. I wonder if this was released in the West or not. I'm not sure. We'll have to look into that. Hauku no Fushigi na Tabi. This looks like it might go along with an actual real anime, looking at the artwork on it. This was done by Carry Labs, it says. On the back, it looks like a cute little action game. Haokun Tadaima Shuchuchu Shugyochu, excuse me. Kono yo de ichiban daiji na mono o sagase. Search for the most important thing to you in this world. This is it's going to be fun to take a look into. An exciting action adventure game for you and your friends. How kun no shina tabi. Power Blazer, thirteen thousand seven hundred. The artwork is nice, but the gameplay, man, this is one frustrating game. Family Basic version three. I don't come across that very often. That is fetching a pretty penny. Here we've got uh, Ide Mahjong. Cute box art. Speaking of the devil, we've got Sweet Home. 19,700. Inu Bass just won the loose cart of this game here. Very uh, interesting game. Kind of the start of the Resident Evil series. Good early uh, Famicom RPG. Great graphics for its day. Let's take a look at Rockman 2. It's going for 20400 Quite scruffy uh, box there. Wouldn't mind having that in the collection, but don't think I'll ever be willing to pay that for it at the moment. So, there's Touch. It's a Takahashi Meijin. Bokenjima 2. Cute artwork on the back. 
5700. This is incredibly cool. This Tezuko Samu version Game Boy Lite, 108,000 yen. We also have a bunch of expensive games here. Layla, Idol, Metal Slater Glory, Bucky O'Hare, Paper Boy, Snow Bros, Mitsume Toru, and Moon Crystal would be two I'd love to add to the collection. Bubble Bobble 2 and Gimmick as well. We got the Cogswell Caper, Captain Saver. Ghostbusters 2, Hebereke. There's a loose moon crystal down here for 98,000. All right. Let's take a move on to the next shop, shall we? Surugaya. They still have a bunch of those dead stock games. At least they're still advertising it out front here. Here's a new game I have. Don't see very. I don't know much about it. Wits. It says it's an action game, so will be cool to take a look at that. Contra is going up there. Seven thousand two hundred. Wow. Parodius is less than 3,000, which isn't too bad in my opinion. This is Super Express, Satsujin Jiken, 4,100. It says it's an action or adventure game by Irem. These are usually heavy RPG games from my experience, but it says adventure, so it's kind of a vague, vague titling of that. I think this is the Red Shadow, 2200. Ake Kage. Kamen no Ninja. Ake Kage. So the Red Mask Ninja. And what else? There's some. Uh, This is a simulation yokai game, kind of like a Godzilla look-alike type game. Dai Yokai. What do we have here? A uh, game for the, the Famicom Trainer. Manhattan Police. Must have to chase criminals down. I would imagine. Here is Penguin Monogatari. The other day, Adam from Retro Moments was looking for this game. 5700 Quite expensive these days. I find it interesting how expensive that game is. This mission is unstable due to a weak network connection. I have all my uh, channel members here that are down for the giveaway. If you are in a higher tier, a scruffy looking refurber tier, you get two entries. If you are a junk smuggler, then you get one entry. So, everyone is on this die. All right, so here we go. This is it. May the best nerf herder win. And, and it is, that says Inu B, that stands for Inu Base. Did you hear that? So congratulations Inu Base. You have just one sweet home. Thank you all the channel members for your support. I do appreciate it. I hope to do these more often. That was the giveaway. So next weekend, there will be another giveaway. This time, uh, anybody can enter as long as you're subscribed to the channel. Japan time. July 13th, Saturday, 8 a.m. for the giveaway on Scruffy's channel. We'll be giving away Flying Hero or Super Mario USA. Make sure you're there if you want to win that. But uh, that's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Stay safe, but above all, stay Scruffy looking. Who's Scruffy looking?